In this video, we're going to weld two cylinders on top of each other to get a pipe connection that looks something like this. So let's go ahead and uh, create a cylinder. We're going to put the orientation of this one to plus X and I'm going to make a copy of the cylinder and change the orientation of the second cylinder to plus Z. And let's go ahead and move this up a bit to maybe about here. Now this top cylinder, I want this one to be a little smaller so I'm going to change the radius to 35 centimeters here. We're going to be using subdivision surfaces to smooth the object so we don't need that many rotation segments. Let's go ahead and select the big cylinder and for this one I'm going to change the rotation segments to 24 and now we have to change the rotation segments for the smaller cylinder and we can't use 24 we have to find a setting where the edges uh, more or less m match up with uh, the edges on the bottom cylinder here so let's go ahead and try to find something that will work uh, now the goal here is not to um, make these edges match up perfectly with the ones on the bottom cylinder. Um, it's next to impossible to do that. What we're going to try and do instead is to get these edges as close as possible to the edges of the bottom cylinder. Um, if I do it like this, you can see the edges here are matching up pretty well, but the edge down here we would have to connect this to this one here and the distance is quite big. So that would make it a lot harder to fix the geometry later and get nice and even segments for both of these cylinders. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to move the smaller cylinder down a bit more so that we're getting uh, these two edges fairly close together uh, we have these edges fairly close together. Let's maybe move this up a bit again. Okay, and this edge we're going to connect to this edge and the distance is not that big uh, here either. We will also need additional geometry up here. So one thing we could do is um, select both of these cylinders and add one additional height segment. So that's all we can do for now. So at least we have this edge loop up here that will connect to this edge on the bottom cylinder and we have uh, this edge on the bottom cylinder uh, that connects perfectly with the edge on the top cylinder here. And now we're going to use a bool object to combine these two objects. So let's make them children of the bool object and by default the boolean type is set to a subtract b we need to change that to a union b. And we need to make sure that high quality is checked which it is by default. We want to create a single object and you can see the geometry is looking quite messy. Um, there's nothing we can do about that we have to fix that manually. Uh, what I am going to do is I'm going to hide the new edges. Now this will make the geometry look much cleaner uh, but it really isn't clean. So there's some work we have to do to make the geometry nice and clean when we've combined these uh, two cylinders. So now we can make this bool object editable uh, but I'm, actually I'm not going to make it editable I'm just going to make a copy uh, be, just in case we have to go back and make adjustments to the rotation segments or the position of the top cylinder. So I don't want to have to start from uh, all the way from scratch if I have to do that. So I'm going to keep this copy here and switch it off and we can make the copy editable and let's name this to uh, pipe top connection and let's see. Now, uh, as you can see, 
this object is symmetrical along the z-axis and along the x-axis. So what we're going to do to make our work a little easier is we're going to delete most of the object. So in the top view, let's go to point mode and grab the rectangle selection tool and I'm going to delete all of these points over here and I'm also going to delete these points up here and make sure that only select visible elements is deselected so you can grab all the points all the way to the bottom of the object. Now in the perspective view I'm going to get rid of the caps here so let's delete these points and now this looks a lot more manageable so the next thing we're going to do is we're going to connect these edges here so let's select these two points here right click and select weld and we're going to weld these two points to this point of the bottom cylinder and let's grab these two points weld them to this point and keep doing this all the way down to the bottom of this object so the geometry is looking nice and clean on our top cylinder here we have even segments all around this object uh, which is important because subdivisions will only work well and deform the object as desired uh, when the segments are nice and even. Now on our top cylinder here you can see that we have a lot of edges that are not straight anymore so deformation or subdividing this object will not look very good but we're going to fix that later so now we can proceed in one of two ways um, the first option would be to uh, create the control edges that we need to hold the shape of this transition here uh, the other option would be that we create the additional geometry that we need so we need to connect this edge here uh, to the top cylinder and that means we have to create additional edges here and here and on the bottom cylinder we will need more geometry down here to connect to the edges of the top cylinder. So I'm going for option two. So let's grab the knife tool and I'm going to use the knife tool in line mode. I'm going to switch off restrict to selection and visible only and I'm going to constrain the angle to 45 degrees so I can make straight cuts. You could also just hold down the shift key when you make a cut and that will also create a straight line. So I've made these two cuts here and on the top cylinder we need more geometry here and we need another edge loop up here. Okay so now we can go ahead and create our control edges so let's switch to edge mode and we can't really use the loop selection tool even if I switch off stop at boundary edges because of the new geometry we created the uh, loop selection will not be able to uh, select the loop that we actually need so what we're going to do is we're going to switch to the move tool so hit E on your keyboard and select this edge up here and then hold down shift and control and left click on this edge down here and this will select all the edges in between the bottom edge here and this top edge here. So now we can right click and select the bevel tool and we're going to use chamfer here. We need to add one subdivision because we need to keep these edges here and create additional ones up here and over here and for the radius I'm going to use or for the offset I'm going to use something like maybe three centimeters I don't want this to be uh, too sharp but then again the offset cannot be too high because we have these edges up here so if we go higher than three I think the geometry will, will start to, uh, to intersect so um, the offset of 3 worked quite nicely 
but we do get this additional geometry here and what we can do to fix that is we can go to the uh, mitering option in the bevel tool which is under topology here and we can try and change the default setting to uh, one of the other settings here so you, we could try patch you can see this doesn't work either we can try radial which doesn't work either and we can try uniform and that fixes our problem here so whenever you have uh, issues uh, when you when you're beveling edges uh, try and change the mitering settings uh, that might just uh, fix the problems you're having so down here we're having another problem when creating the uh, additional geometry we've created an additional edge up here so we need to get rid of that let's go ahead and select this edge here not this one because we need to make sure that the segments stay nice and even because otherwise when we subdivide the object we will not get a nice and round shape so we need to grab this edge here right click and dissolve it so let's see beveling the edges has caused an issue here on the bottom cylinder let's go ahead and fix that and I'm going to use the knife tool with the same settings as before and I'm going to make a cut from this point here straight over to this edge here and now we can select both of these points here right click and weld them to this point and if you want to you can straighten up the geometry over here uh, for example you could use the knife tool make a straight cut all the way down to here and then go to edge mode and use the move tool and you can double click on any one of these edges here to select this loop and now you can right click and dissolve these edges so that's our bottom cylinder fixed let's take care of the top cylinder and there's quite a few more cuts we need to make here so let's grab the knife tool again and make a cut from this point over to here and we need to fix the edges here here and here as well so now let's select uh, these points up here and I'm going to weld these down to this point and again let's fix the geometry up here so I'm going to make another cut and dissolve these edges here now back to point mode and let's grab these two points here and we need to weld these to this point and we need to weld these two points and these ones down here so as you can see the segments of the top cylinder are now nice and even again and they will deform nicely when we use uh, subdivision surfaces later we do still have issues on the transition itself because we're getting these polygons that are a bit stretched you can see these uh, pointy sections here so let's try and fix that we, uh, we're going to use uh, the slide tool here so let's grab it from the menu and we're going to slide this point along this edge to about here to make these polygons nice and even again and it won't be perfect um, everywhere here so these ones will stay a bit pointy but that's okay we're not getting too much uh, distortion here so I'm just going to adjust the position of some of these points to make this nice and even or as nice and even as possible okay up here these edges are very close together so I'm trying to spread these apart a bit by sliding this point down a bit and this one maybe and I'm going to slide this point up just a tad bit not too much because like I said we need these uh, even segments here so I'm trying not to cause too much trouble by sliding these points too far so we should be okay with this so let's go ahead and add a subdivision surface object and let's change the display to isoparms 
So the deformation is looking okay. Uh, the subdivision looks fairly good except for this area up here and this area down here. So we're getting a bit of distortion here and the reason for that is simply because uh, of the way the geometry flows and also because the distance between this point here and this point here is quite big and we have the same issue down here. So we can fix that by adding uh, more edge loops. So let's go ahead and do that. In edge mode I'm going to use my ring selection tool to grab these edges here and then right click and use edge cut. I'm going to use one subdivision here and slide these edges over to about here. And as you can see the geometry now flows a lot better as compared to the geometry up here. So let's go ahead and do the same thing for uh, the top cylinder as well. So I'm going to ring select these edges and add a new edge loop up here. Okay, so now we can use two symmetry objects. And for the second one we have to change the mirror plane to XY. And let's make this editable. And that is the basic mesh done. So uh, now all we have to do is add some thickness because right now these uh, walls of the pipe are still paper thin. I'm going to keep the um, base, basic object here. So let's uh, copy this one and switch off this subdivision surface object. And let's close these polygon holes and extrude some uh, polygons to create the thickness that we want for uh, this pipe. So I'm switching to polygon mode and I'm going to right click and select uh, close polygon hole here. So let's close these caps and and then we can select uh, these polygons here right click select extrude inner and let's do an offset of maybe seven or eight now right click and extrude I'm going to extrude these back a bit just be careful not to extrude into the um, bottom cylinder here so I'm going to extrude to about here and we can delete these engons and let's go ahead and grab these angons here. Again, extrude inner and let's do maybe 10 centimeters for this one and extrude these back and be careful not to extrude into the uh, top pipe here. So let's stop here and delete these angons. And in the top view I'm going to switch to edge mode and I'm going to select all of these edges here And then grab my ring selection tool, hold down control and deselect these edge rings. And now let's add the control edges. So we're going to use the bevel tool again. And this time I'm going to do a solid bevel with an offset of well, three, let's see how that looks. Let's add a subdivision surface object. This may be a bit soft, so let's undo and try an offset of maybe two centimeters. Okay, and this is looking pretty good, I think. And that's the end of this tutorial. I hope you've enjoyed it. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you again soon.